moon boots would fit the like ski resort vibe. Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, I'm Felicia. And I have once again done a little bit of damage. This past Christmas, from one of my jobs, I got a gift card at a mall that's near me, or everyone got gift cards for a mall that's near me. And I had for a long time been looking at these shoes that I can't afford really. They're way too expensive. They're so expensive. And I was like, oh, but I really want them. They're so cute. So then when I got this gift card, I was like, you know what? I can check if they have it in any stores at the mall and then I can use a gift card and then it won't cost as much and then I can treat myself to a little gift. So I did find them and I went and tried them on and I got oh, a pair of moon boots. Oh my God. These have been shoes that I've wanted since I was like a kid. I think these might be like a new rendition, but I remember when I was younger in like early 2000s and moon boots were such a thing. And I thought they were so freaking cool. They even had, if y'all were like <laughs> TV, like commercial, the type of moon boots that were not these moon boots, but the ones that you were supposed to be able to jump in, like you were jumping on the moon. <laughs> so I feel like moon boots really had like its moment. And this is honestly pretty fitting today because yesterday from when I'm filming this, the, a space, I don't know what you say, a rocket, <laughs> a spaceship left NASA and there's actually a Swedish astronaut on it. So they've been like live streaming it and sharing lots of news about it and everyone's very excited about people going to space. I honestly find it scary. I would never go to space, but you know, it's cool that other people are doing it. Even though I can say I did not want to watch when they launched because I got stressed. I don't understand how they do it. It's so scary. And they're also just sitting there. Okay, not at all the conversation. <laughs> We're not talking about the actual moon. We're talking about moon boots. Ah! So I'm going to show y'all the ones I got. I feel like moon boots have been a boot that's like, from my perception, maybe this is because I'm like a late 90s, early 2000s kid. Moon boots have always been cool and they always look so comfortable. Oh my god, look at this. My mom went with me and she was like, can't you get like the black pair at least? Like, come on, really? And I was like, no, these are the ones I want. If I'm gonna wear moon boots, I'm gonna wear moon boots. And they're sparkly. It's so pretty. And I also don't have any pink or red shoes. So I feel like it's fine. Ah! The only thing I will say when I try these on, I don't know if someone knows. How do you know which is left or right? They look the same. <laughs> like, come on. So I think I'm just gonna have to commit to decide which is left or right. But they feel like they're so, I don't think y'all would be able to see that, but they're like so cushiony. Like they look huge, but on the inside, there's like pillows, like my hand barely fits. Like it's so cushioned. And I thought a fun way to start my life with my moon boots, I haven't worn these if you're wondering they're not dirty <laughs> they have solely been indoors so i can have these close to my face it would be fun to style these because i also know when i got these i was like oh i can wear them so much they're gonna be so comfortable but i feel like it is such a like odd be boot because it's so big that like how do you style it and i have a few ideas of how i want to style these so i thought i'd share them so i'm gonna style these i think five different ways and I feel like also the moon boot, I realize now kind of walked. So these like those giant, like, uh, what are they called? Oh, uh, what is his name? There's a character that I think those boots are based off that has like red, you know, those red, huge boots. I'll put a picture here. I feel like these kind of inspired. I know it's kind of based on a character too, but come on, big chunky shoes, always fun colorful shoes always so yeah let's get to styling my moon boots and i'll show y'all the first look okay 
first outfit. Leaning into like late 90s, early 2000s. So here are the moon boots. Then I have these cargo pants. I don't know how well you can see. They're from Levi's. And just like a cropped, like white tee, black jacket, Kangle hat. Ooh, almost fell there. And then like big hoops. And my pink purse. This was my first purse I ever bought. It's from a flea market in New York. <laughs> So yeah, I feel like making a little cool, but match with like the pink accessories. Feels like a lie. So this is outfit number one. It's giving 90s, it's giving 2000s, it's giving with the cargos, maybe slightly more street style. Super cute. What do y'all think? I feel like it's a vibe. But now, on to outfit number two. Second outfit. It's giving, like, slightly more dressed up, going to dinner or something, but I want to be comfortable. I wear my moon boots. So I'm wearing just these black tights, black skirt, black turtleneck vest with pink on it. So I thought that that would kind of bring it more together. So then, just to keep it like a little more fancy, some clips in the hair. I don't know if y'all can see. And my little black bag. I'm oh, sorry if you hear Winston running around. So yeah, this is the second look. Keeping it more fancy, I guess. So we're good. On to outfit number three. Third outfit, I don't know how to ski, but I'm assuming moon boots would fit the like ski resort vibe. So I'm wearing this like workout jumpsuit from Aritzia and you can zip it if you want all the way, if it's cold or you can be more like, ooh. Then I have white earmuffs cause obviously and then just my <laughs> warmest winter jacket and the boots. Like, come on, can you all see someone like at an after ski dressed like this? I feel like you definitely could. In my imagination, this is how people look at after skis. If you ski, tell me if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> Do you wear boots? Maybe not to ski in. Because <clears throat> then I think you wear specific ski boots, right? But the after ski was the fun part. So this was outfit number three. I like it. Obviously, it's just a workout jumpsuit. Super comfortable. Now on to outfit number four. Outfit number four. Business casual. I don't <laughs> I've never worked in an office. So I don't know what business casual is. I also don't have any business type of clothes. Like I don't even think I own a button-up shirt anymore. Should have one probably, good basic to have, but I don't have one. So this is what we got. Black, like more tailored pants. My black Telfeezy, obviously, because I can hold it like this. It's giving briefcase. Black, like fancy knit, and then like a jacket that is, it's not a blazer, but it's like blazer inspired, if that makes sense. With like pockets so moon boots but make it business casual it's winter there's snow everywhere i need good boots i feel like this would work i think the thing was cute and it's also like if you like moon boots but you don't want to be like in your face about them i feel like you can like barely see them you see just the tip that sounds great. Okay, never mind. On to outfit number five. Fifth outfit. Final outfit. And I feel like the outfit that is most realistic. Like, this is probably what I wear most of the time. Because I'm always working and doing stuff for I have kind of What happened? Yeah. Meh. <laughs> so 
sorry about that. So I'm just wearing my like regular Levi jeans, black turtleneck because it's cold. I'm with a t-shirt, it's an angel number t-shirt and like a headband and then just staple Uniqlo bag and like usual jewelry. And if I was gonna wear a jacket, I'd probably just wear like any basic neutral jacket depending on how cold it is outside. And if it's not too cold, I'd probably just wear it like this. Kind of relaxes the, the moods a little. Not as much of a statement, it feels like. But cute and comfy. So yeah, that was my five moon boots outfits. Does that make sense? So, I hope y'all like this. Either if you have moon boots or want moon boots, got some inspo. If not, I hope you just enjoyed it. Maybe you just got some outfit inspo. It was very dark though. I feel like I don't have a lot of like other colors that I think would vibe with these shoes. I evidently don't have a lot of pink and red in my wardrobe for some reason. But I feel like these outfits were cute and I'd wear all of them. So I feel good about showing it. I don't want to just show y'all stuff that like looks good on video, but that I'd never step out in. I would step out in all of these. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a good day. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. I passed 500 subscribers, which is so cool. And I would love to make it to a thousand this year. That would be awesome. So if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And like this video and comment down below. Maybe you have some suggestions on how I should style the moon boots. But other than that, thank y'all again for watching this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.